my favorite happy song in the entire world. Yes, thank you. I love it. Um, and so we always start that. We always start the show with that song because I think that we need as much happiness as we can possibly get in this world, whether things are going crazy or not. Happiness is important, and happiness brings up the energy, and happiness makes everybody around you happy. So spread the happiness. It's important. Ooh. Welcome, everybody. This is Nikki Burnett. This is Taste Life Nutrition Radio, streaming live on KUHS Denver. Um, and this show is one of my very favorite things to do because I get to bring on and chat with some of the most amazing people <laughs> in the world. And today's going to be a real treat, um, especially, I, yes, for men and women, but I think a lot for women because I think that you can really relate to the things that we'll talk about in this show, um, but it also is very much for men as well. So I um, want to make sure that I say that. But what are we about? We are about bringing goodness and truth to you in the best possible way that we can. So we talk about health, wellness, spirituality. Uh, we talk about love and relationships and all of the things that have to do with health because health is very broad. It's physical, mental, emotional. It is everything around us can create mm. health or it can create dishealth. And so um, today is a treat. We have on Kelly Oliver, who has just a fascinating history. Um, and it's going to be super exciting to talk about Kelly. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I'm very good, Nikki. Thank you for having me yeah, on your show. Yeah, thanks That's so much. That's a pleasure. Yeah. Um, Kelly and I have spoken a few times um, and really connected, and I think that, that this is going to be just a treat for everybody involved. But every time we start the show, we always start with gratitude because just like being happy, I think happy is a choice. Um, that I think gratitude also is a choice and something we, would, we should start our day with. And live by you know there's so much no matter what's going on there's so much to be grateful for um, and and I know that I am truly blessed uh, in my life and even when things are hard I am really really blessed so um, Kelly let's start with you what are you grateful for mm, I'm grateful for having God in my life yes and yes amen to that and yes. for all of the blessings that he has sent my way and he has sent many many my way but in particular, what I'd like to focus on right now would be my resiliency and my ability to never give up even when things are really, 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 really tough. And I have gone through yes. some really difficult times. Mm -hmm. I've gone through some great times as well. But it's in those difficult times, it's so easy just to give up and just forget about it. But it's through the difficult times, moving through them and getting to the other side once we've gone through that fire, we are given so many more blessings and we have learned so many more things and grown so much and able to give back and share with people, which leads me basically coming on your show and yeah. talking to you and everyone across the world that tunes in to watch and listen to you. So for that, I'm very grateful too. Grateful for you too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love that. Um, and I think I, that's something that I try to keep in mind a lot is exactly what you said because... Life is not meant to be easy, um, but it's it's those times that are the difficult times that are that that help us to grow, that build our character. We can take it and we can use it for good, mm -hmm. or we can use it for just the opposite. Um, and I know in my choice in my life, my choice is to to take the hard stuff, take the beat downs, take the the the, the failures, and use them for good because every time. Every time without fail, something good has come out of it. A lesson, um, an experience, something that I can share, something that I can give to others. Um, and so I'm totally with you. I think yeah. that's such a beautiful thing. And it's kind of like ends up being our talents. You know, yes. our biggest failures, our mm -hmm. mistakes, the lessons that we have end up being our biggest strengths and part of who we are. So that, like, you know, never a waste. There, a, a, a bad time is never wasted. A failure is never wasted. Yeah. It's always used for something better. Yes. Um, which leads me to 
kind of what, what I'm talking about here with you, which I know I'm talking about a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I'm also I let, I'll leave it up to you to, <laughs> to get us where we want to go, but in particular, that little heart in the brain that came out of a really big failure, so yes. I'm blessed to be able to share a little bit about it at least. Yes, I'm excited for that too, because I have, I have, after talking with you the first time, done a little bit of research on the little brain and the heart, and yeah. I it's it's fascinating and very cool and something I knew nothing about, and it's uh, data driven, you know, there's science in, in it, and I have a science. little science there. I know science. And it's true. I'm a science, you gotta have the science. If there's no science, yes. that means it's fake news and it doesn't work. You gotta have the science. Absolutely, I Sorry. love it. I love it. Um, so, my gratitude for today, um, you know, I think, oh gosh, I hate to, 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 to piggyback right off of what you're saying. But it's, I think part of, I think that it's the lessons. I, I see God as always guiding me, and there are always lessons to be learned, and God gives that to us. You know, He doesn't do negative things to it. It's not. Decisions and something comes out of it. That and having confidence. and that clarity in but Um, I, you know, it was financial struggles and all of these things. Um, that song came on, and I believe that was a God thing too because it hit me. It was the perfect timing, and I just went. It gave me chills. Give me chills now. But I was like, me too. everything's gonna be fine. God's got us. You know, we're good. And so I, this song, I, I listen to it all the time. It's my happy song, and I'm glad to get to play it every more every Thursday out there for everybody else. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you're playing it. Yes, me too. All right, let's get into some of the fun stuff. I like to start with just giving some information about you, about where you came from, how you got to where you are, um, what excites you, what motivates you, um, and then we can kind of dig into some meaty stuff. Okay, so so first let's, I'd like to talk about what, how I got here to be here with you to talk about the little brain within the heart, yep. and then I'll talk a little bit more about my journey, my story, and how I got to where I am. Perfect. Does that, does that work for you? Absolutely. Excellent. All right. So, um, so well, a long time ago, what was happening is I was on, well, not a long time ago, I'd say maybe 10, 15 years ago, I was on one of my round-the-world treks, my anti-aging treks, to find the latest and the greatest when it came down to finding the fountain of youth. Like, why do some people... Bora to bat and bat and every word. I was also really interested in more of the off the grid backwater clinics who were really practicing, I like to call them otherworldly treatments or things. Um, has been around from the ancients, like the ancient mm -hmm. ancients knowledge. When yes. it comes down to indigenous indigenous people who have been healing the body, transforming the body from the inside out. So that's something that I was really interested in as well. I wanted both of them, bringing them together to work on the body inside and out because as we know, beauty is an inside job. It starts from the inside and it shows on the outside. Right. So I ended up believe it or not, at one of the most prestigious healing salt caves in Austria. Yes, salt caves, healing. And I was at a symposium where they were talking about the brain and the heart and the connection and how it all worked together. 
And I just found it fascinating. And then it got to the point where they were doing a, a, a guided meditation at the end. And I'm like, when this finished, I went, I've been doing this meditation, I've been doing this practice, and it is a practice, mm -hmm. with my practitioner Helga in Toronto for the past 15 years, once a week. Everything they talked about, I was doing this for once a week, and I kind of went, wow, no wonder, no wonder my life is so easy, no wonder, be, wonder, no wonder everything came so easy for me. But when they gave me the science, and they explained how everything worked, this gave me irrefutable proof and the ability to believe, and I know that once I believe, once anybody believes or is a believer, it's like it becomes one with your body and everything really flows smoothly. Now, however, what you see right now and who I am right now in the story that I just told couldn't be any further from the truth as to it's my, my personal story. So I grew up in a very abusive family. And that abuse, abusiveness started in the womb. Truly, it started in the womb. I won't get into, into the stuff, but um, there was a lot of um, mental and emotional abuse, never physical abuse, mental and emotional. And my family members used to say a lot of really horrible, horrible things to me, mm. really hurtful, abusive things. And they said it so often that I started believing it. Yeah. And as we know, what you believe is what you get and, and what you express to the world. And it was during this time, and this started when I was really, really young. And I just remember that I, as a child and a young, and a, and a young adolescent, I had no self-confidence, I had no self-esteem, I had zero hope. In fact, I was mm -hmm. hopeless. Hopeless is the word that I would have to use to describe it. I saw no way out of this life. It's all I saw and felt. And in fact, the, the fact of the matter is I didn't feel. I had zero feelings because in order to protect me one day, I will never A little voice came into my ear and said, if you stay here one more day, you will die. Well, I, t I look at that internal GPS as God speaking yeah. to me. Yeah, absolutely. It was like, wake up call, woohoo, wake mm -hmm. up call. I mean, at this point at 17, I was an emotional eater. I ate food to give me control in my life, to keep those feelings down. I weighed 200 pounds. I was like, I was, you can only imagine. But I got woke. I woke up and I went, whoa, because I am. Okay, well, um, I ran away from home. I made that decision right then and there that I was going to run away from home, and I did. And I did. And even, and even though I didn't know what life was meant to, me, meant to be, I had a glimmer of hope, like this twinkle, this little twinkle of hope mm -hmm. that I knew life was meant to be lit. I'm getting God bumps just talking Aww. about this now with the memory. And I knew that life was going to get better, and I would get better, and I would have an amazing life because that's what life is meant to be. And guess what? I used that resilience within me mm -hmm. to build an amazing life. I got closer to God. I got also I got emotional and psychological help because I knew if I didn't, I would be extremely, I would be harmed. I reached out to Western practitioners and Eastern practitioners, and here is where it all comes back to the healing caves and. I um, support and moving forward. See, there were certain parts of my life that I, that I couldn't change. So, and that would be my weight. I was um, 200 pounds. I was a, yep. that, that means a yo-yo. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. 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 As so many people are, right? Well, uh, yeah. I, I, I probably think maybe at least I would have to say 50% of the planet has done yo-yo diet oh, at yeah. some point or another. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's a it's a really horrible place to be mm -hmm. because it just it it kicks it keeps you down because you're moving forward then you're going backwards so you yep. feel like you're not accomplishing anything mm -hmm. and you're going through a perpetual groundhog day which also ties into the brain and the heart but I'll get to that in a little bit <laughs> so I went to I went to my natural path I, I found a natural path in Toronto she was a healer 
She is a doctor of chiropractic, naturopathy, homeopathy. Mm -hmm. uh, she worked, did holotropic breath work. This woman was amazing. And she was this Eastern European earth mother. And I walked into her office, and I just walked in, and I said, look, I came here for your magic. Somebody, people told me that you're like a witch doctor and you got this <laughs> magic stuff. I want some, some potion. Give me some potion to lose weight and you'll never see me again. And she went. <laughs> I love it. It's so I true. Said, I said, what do you mean? And I went, and she went, no. She goes, we're not even going to talk about your weight. That doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to work from the inside yeah. out. We're going to start healing the wounds from the inside. <laughs> You're never going to think about a diet. We're never going to talk about a diet. We're going to take care of the inside. And when that happens, you will blossom and bloom, and you will never have to worry about your weight ever again. I knew I was in the right place right there. And that's where she started, the first treatment, where she said, get on the table right now. So I jumped up on the table. She went down to my feet. She held my feet, shook them, feeling my energy. <laughs> okay. Then she walked around to the head of the table. <sighs> she put her hand on my chest and my heart right here. She took a few deep breaths. And then she said to me, Kelly, breathe. I want you to breathe. And then I want you to go into your heart. Well, this was 1985, 84. <laughs> Nobody talked like that. Go into what does heart. that what even knows? mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, and I'm thinking, she really is a voodoo witch doctor. Okay. And then I thought, okay, well, you came here for her magic. You came here for her treatment because everyone said she was transformational. So I did what any A-type personality would do. I closed my eyes, <laughs> I breathed, and then I imagined myself jumping off the diving board, boom, and jumped right into my heart. Huh. I saw myself in my in my heart, this little thing, little being, looking around this giant thing that was a heart. And that's how my journey began, day in, day out. Yeah, yeah. I knew nothing about how it worked. I knew nothing about any science. All I knew is I felt really, really good. And all when I went to see her, and all I knew is my life became amazing. So many pluses in my life. I got my dream job, I was a host on, mm -hmm. on shopping channels for yeah. 20 years, their number one host. I was you know, financially secure, I played in the markets. I, you know, I, I had great friends. I, I traveled the world to be able to go on my anti-aging trips mm -hmm. to find the latest and the greatest. Life was good, life was, was I, it was good. But it was only when I went to the salt caves in Austria that I pulled all the pieces together and I realized this stuff is really, really important and this needs to be taught because I know that if I could learn it and, and it's not that difficult and understand it, so I can teach this to everyone else, no matter what their dream in life is, whether it's to be successful, whether it's to find love, whether it's to get more confidence, whether it's to, and in my world, which is anti-aging, mm -hmm. Oh, visible and the invisible signs of aging from the inside out that I, it is, it literally, it works for me right. and creativity and manifestation and all sorts of things. I can help other men and yeah. women yeah. do the same thing as well. I love that. And I love it, your story to me is, I mean, I think. Uh, it's it's so similar to so many people and and being able to find your way out of it um, and find it and it's so often about the people who you find who can help you you have to you have to have your tribe you have, yes yes you have to have your team I say this to my clients I say this when I talk I say it to people all the time that you have to find you we can't do everything on our own Find the people who know who you trust, and you got to be careful, but yeah. who have the ability to see what you're not seeing and can guide you out of that place. Well, it, it's interesting you should talk about that. The one thing that I've been able to discover um, for myself, I can just look at someone now and I'm, a I'm able to heal them. And that all has to mm -hmm. do with the heart brain and the magnetic fields of our body and our brain. 
and the electromagnetic field of our heart and the magnet. Anyway, but yes. we can get into this, but yes. I, I just look at someone and I feel their energy and I know exactly, I know exactly what is going on in their life. I know where to direct them, where they need help, I ask them a few questions. Um, and I had something really important today, so to say at this moment, but I got sidetracked, so that's okay. I'd like to, <laughs> it'll come back. That's okay, but, yeah. But it, it has to do with finding people who, can, who have been there and who have seen things. Like myself, I've been overweight, I can help people. Mm -hmm. Like myself, I've suffered from extreme zero self-worth, zero self-esteem, no future, like, like life was over. And I was able to transform that and get an, an incredibly happy, let's not forget about mm -hmm. that, because that's what is so important. Yep. Happy comes first, happy, confident. And yet we're so beaten down um, that we lose that confidence, we lose our sense of self. We think that life is past a certain way for it. But you just need the, the right team and the right tools. And if you've got science to back it up, which gives you confidence to believe in it, because believing is half the battle. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you believe it in yourselves, if you believe it, mm -hmm. and, and that's a whole other journey of teaching people how to believe when yes. they don't believe. Yes. But you, you too can have the life that you want. I love that. You know, on your website, and it, it's one of those things that I, I just, is heartbreaking but amazing because of where you are, is you, you have on your website uh, mm -hmm. the girl least likely. And I just go, aw. <laughs> um, and a couple other things that you have that I love is you wanted to be a vet. I went to yeah. I wanted to be a vet as well. I have my master's degree in animal science, yeah. um, and then uh, a science geek. And so I love that you're a science geek because I'm a total science geek. And so th I say that because what we're going to talk about when it comes to the heart, uh, well, and all of the other stuff too is yeah. backed by data. So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, and I think it's exciting. Real quick before we get into it, I want to do a do just a quick shout out to our sponsor. Um, because, talk about driven by data, Cellcore Biosciences <laughs> <laughs> is totally driven by data. They're an amazing supplement company um, doing things that, um, that I don't think any other companies are doing. Uh, if and in their delivery system of their supplements. And gets deep into the cells and affects mm -hmm. the cells. Cool stuff. And so they have these bioactive, um, bioactive carbons that they The, the nutrients and the herbs and these things into the cells and leads to the ability to problem uh, environmental toxicants molds all of these things that we many of us deal with that don't know for people to really take that to heart. It's a symptom and it's your body talking to you and it's telling you something's going on and I need you to get help. Or I need, I, the, your body needs help, needs you to jump. Asking why. Don't just say it's okay, I have an autoimmune disease. Don't just say okay, well, the question why and keep asking why even when you think there are no more whys to ask. Keep going because there, there are answers. And so, sorry, soapbox, I can't help myself. <laughs> so, well, yeah. can I, chi can I chime in on you with this? Yes. So, so I am a firm believer in the right supplements. Yes. In especially in today's day and age because our body, you know, we talk about God. He gave us these amazing systems built in with our body when the mm -hmm. form was created, the shell, he, he gave us a detox center, a food processing plant, uh, a power plant for energy yes. and all of these things. 
but it was designed for the beginning of time in a bajillion years ago. Mm -hmm. And since then, the, uh, we have, man has created plastics, pollutants, and oh my gosh, martinis, okay? And molten <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> molten chocolate lava cake. Oh, I are, do are, love <laughs> martinis. <laughs> We weren't designed to digest this stuff. Right. So what that means is your body kind of, your, 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 all of your plants that are inside of your body that were built so that we could live for, for a long, long time and remain healthy and repair our body have a hard time working because it's like it, it, it causes those processes to break down and yep. slow down and lose their efficiency, which is why your body gets overloaded. Mm -hmm. So which is also the reason why you need the right supplements, because with the right supplements, they can go in and they can support your body, all right? Support yep. your body to, in this case, detox and release the way it needs to be so you can start feeling better and your body can start functioning the way it is intended to function. So absolutely. I agree. Yeah, I agree. absolutely. And when our body is clogged and not functioning properly, it Sick. speeds up aging. Yes, we get sick. It does, and but it, it does. Up aging. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, it does. Oh, it does. We're talking about. Oh, that's a curse right there. Wrinkles, sagging skin, loose yes. skin. Oh my yep. gosh, <laughs> breaking down collagen faster. <laughs> yes, it's it's my duty. It was my mm -hmm. okay. True story. So, my quest for like making making sure I didn't get lines and wrinkles is what got me into more of the wellness. As soon as I found out that sugar caused wrinkles, I went. Hold on a second. Uh -huh. I gotta dig into this a little bit closer. What do we what do you mean sugar <laughs> causes wrinkles? Okay, we gotta stop eating sugar right now. Yeah. Not that I was really ever a big sugar eater, but I started diving into how important your nutri nutrition is mm -hmm. within your body. I know that you spoke about um what if you become one with what you eat and you talk about yes. that, that mm -hmm. food is your building blocks and you mm -hmm. wanna build your body with like like cement and disease and toxic waste so that you end up walking around or do you want to build your rebuild your body or build your body with life-giving nutrition right. so yeah anyway i had to yeah no i'm glad me, you did bro you get me excited <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good <laughs> i love it <laughs> we're gonna have many more shows to come i think um <laughs> I so I do want to get into that, but I right. think I think the, the the most intriguing thing about this show is the little brain and the heart. Yes. Um, yes, and, yes, yes. and I want I kind of want to start it really quickly with something okay. that that. Um, and it there are ganglia. So ganglia yeah. are little clusters of. of in the heart and they have they have shown a uh, little like visuals the graphic are independent of the brain independent of the heart that actually reside actually bypass your brain and this little brain in your heart is responsible for all of the me messages, most of the messages, majority of them, that go to your brain because your brain is an order taker. And whatever message the, the little heart in your brain, the little brain in your heart sends to your brain, it releases chemicals to do a job, like various proteins or hormones or um, things like dopamine, things like oxytocin, things like cortisol. Um, necessary for your body to necessary for your body to survive, which makes it amazing. And what's really cool about this heart? Now, wait a second. I just want to share this with you. There have been so many studies on this um, to document what actually takes place and what goes on. Mm -hmm. And to give you a little, just a quick little background, uh, a neurologist who studies cardiology as well, which is the science of neurocardiology. He's the one that discovered this which caused a huge outpouring of research into the heart-brain connection. Mm -hmm. Because the, the heart, you, people used to think the heart is just about pumping blood, and that nobody really paid attention to it, and the bit brain was in control. But now we know that your heart is more powerful than your brain, and it is the one that gives master commands. In fact, 
the messages that go to your brain from your heart are more in terms of a ratio of messages sent from one to the other, it's nine to one, your heart to your brain. <laughs> and that's, that's a lot. Yeah. And the key, the key thing is, is that the, it is the communication because this, your heart, and I'm going to use heart and little brain in your heart interchangeably, um, can do so many things. You can be blown away from this. And again, all backed by science. It can think, it can feel, it can learn, uh, it can bypass your brain altogether and speak to other organs in your body. It's fascinating. It is like yeah. your master, master organ. But the key thing is, these two organs, your brain and your heart, they're not meant to be apart. They're meant to come together. Mm -hmm. And when you can get cohesion, which is basically called your heart brain cohesion, and have them in synced up, and I have a visualization, and I, in my, I have an, ab an a absolute ageless course, which is my six week beauty blueprint, where I walk you through the all three phases of a meditation to get into that zone, but it's, it's the, um, I call it Patsu breathing, power up principle breathing technique. You will be able to manufacture a feeling of joy or gratitude, and gratitude, gratitude is the highest vibration, and gratitude is truly what we do for God every day. We praise God, and He is, loves it when we praise Him. But when you align your brain and your heart together, it's like you have an invisible energetic thread that connects the two. And this is a place where everything, take, everything happens. Manifestation, creation, greater intuition, reduction of stress, anti-aging. Everything takes place in this special relationship, symbiotic relationship working together. They're not enemies, they're friends. They're meant to be together. But this is, people don't know that this is what's supposed to happen. It's another one of God's gifts that he has given to us. We don't have to pay for this anti-aging tool. We don't have to pay for this, this health and wellness tool that is, resides within your heart. So lowering your blood pressure, lowering your cholesterol, you know, improving your heart health, improving the overall health of your body, peace, confidence, calm. I, I get really excited about this. Good. Kind of it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> it it's, um, it's beautiful. And, it is. you know, someone said to me, but, yeah, but, but how do, who, well, who controls your brain and who controls your heart? And I said, well, like, because, okay, so true story, I used to think that my brain was command central and that I had no control over my brain. And so it used to be a runaway train. Yeah. The thinking, mm -hmm. thinking, the mental madness that mm -hmm. was going like there was no tomorrow, it just wouldn't stop. And I used to have to white knuckle it and I developed tools, meditations and tools to just to shut it down. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, it's not in charge, right? It's not. So what happens is, see, I ran off on a tangent. Let me go back to this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can, so who controls your brain? Your heart controls your brain. But who, can, who or what controls your heart? You do. Now how do you do that? Now here's what's key, very important. It's through your emotions and your feelings. This, your heart responds to the messages you send to your body, what you experience on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're feeling cranky and wanky, what happens is your heart starts to create what is called an erratic heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And when your heart is existing in this erratic heartbeat, that means there's stress, anxiety, fear, mm -hmm. run, fight or flight. Mm -hmm. So what happens is your heart then sends a message to your brain to release um, adrenaline, Wah! cortisol. Wah! Mm -hmm. So that you've got this nasty chemical running through your body that's making you feel horrible, that's keeping you out of your purpose and out of your your love zone, out yeah. of your self-love zone, because the anxiety is blocking any good feelings. Conversely, if your heart is in a very gentle, wavy motion, like such, that is called a sine wave, if you're into science or mm -hmm. whatever, math. <laughs> and this particular wave, your heart recognizes as oh, calm, mm -hmm. loving, peaceful and when your your heart is in that state then it sends another message to your brain to release 
certain proteins or other chemicals or things like my favorite oxytocin, which typically only happens when you're giving birth, if I am not mistaken. <laughs> so it's, the, it's just the love hormone and feeling good about yourself. And when you are in this state, which by the way, I was able to achieve for 20 years working with Helga, and she's shaking my feet and we're breathing into my heart, I was able to manifest virtually anything I ever wanted. Now, some of it happened overnight and some of it might have taken three years to manifest, mm -hmm. but I was able to do it effortlessly. Even my mistakes turned to gold. <laughs> Amazing. Even even mm -hmm. my mistakes, and, and I, I, I didn't know what was happening. I, I had no clue. I was unconscious with this entire process. Going to that salt cave gave me conscious awareness as to what was happening. Now, I use it on command and on demand to either A, if I'm having a stressful day, I'll immediately take a cup. I, I can actually do it you know, in a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. I can move, shift that heart almost instantly. Or if I just know that I need to manifest, then I will go into the POP2 breathing technique and intentionally insert emotion into my heart. And then I, it's, it, it's just, it, it's like magic, but it's like spiritual energy that's going back and forth. But this is again the way that we were designed. Yeah. This is the way we were we were meant to happen, meant to do it. Anyway. Yeah. I no. I I love that, and I want to I want to tell a quick story because it makes me think of this, and it's something that I was uh, not aware of at the time. But I was going through. Uh, I my husband and I were going through kind of a wonky time. And this was six months ago, so it's it's fairly recent. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't. You know, we're really good. But it's, you know, sometimes you just go through these little valleys and it was, and, and I just had some frustration. And so this is my fault for not letting it out there. It's totally my fault. But there was some frustration and, but my heart, it, it gets a little wonky every now and then it does, it does kind of a, a flutter and then it stops. It was fluttering like consistently for oh. two months, like constant flutter. It yeah. was speaking to you. Yes, it, it was. was. Calling you. Yes, yeah. it was. And it was the most interesting thing because I commented on it on a regular basis. And this had happened to me once before. So I'd been to the cardiologist. I checked it out, all of these things. And then what was so oh. interesting is once we sat down and hashed it out, it immediately stopped. Yeah. I was yeah. amazed. And I was like, holy smokes, let's not keep stuff in anymore. <laughs> oh, it's gonna make me cry right now. It's just, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. No pills required. No. no doctor, constant doctor visits telling you what's wrong, giving you a diagnosis that have nothing to do with it prescri prescribed. Well, anyway, you can yeah. tell I'm not a pill popper. Yeah. Prescribing unnecessary pills. And the, and the beautiful thing is, is that we have it in the palm of our hand. Mm -hmm. But the, th the thing is, being aware of your emotions is, is sometimes very, very difficult. In fact, I felt nothing, no emotions for a very, very long time as a child, so I really have to be present and really relish my emotions. And I find myself checking in on a daily basis and bringing up manufacturing. I can manufacture emo emotion, positive, healthy, heart-loving emotion mm -hmm. to kickstart my day, to start my day, simply by using my imagination and thinking, this is what I teach my clients by, by the way, I tell everybody to go back in time where it was a wonderful experience in their life, something that made them feel love or happy or, or just so grateful about something or just fun and, and, and then I say, imagine it in technicolor, go back in time, I want you to think of the sky, what color was the sky, what color was the ground, can you remember what you were wearing, who was with you, um, were there people with you? Were your animals with you? What did you do that caused it to feel so great? And then I sell, tell them to relive it again. And what will happen is your body, your body's muscle memory for your emotion, your soul's muscle memory will kick in and it will release that emotion that you actually felt at that time so that you can start reliving the experience in real time from an emotional place. When you're in this place, that is the place to do your breathing, okay? Go into your heart and consciously, I know it's kind of woo woo, but I want you to bundle up that emotion, mm -hmm. you place it into your heart, 
And then what you do is you imagine an arrow tied to that bundle of emotion with a long string, and you shoot Cupid's arrow directly into your brain so that your brain, there is that psychic, energetic love connection between the heart and the brain. And this is a way to keep you going with your brain-heart coherence. That's actually the term. There's a, an institute here in the United States who do all the science. It's called Heart Math Institute. Yep, yep. It, there's only about 200 accredited um, practitioners in the world. I find I, I decided I'm I'm up for the, I'm in my training right now. I wanted to be accredited. There's that laugh. Yeah, they laughed. Yeah, they laughed. They said you don't need any training because we, we I've sat we've talked and I said no, but I think you know being accredited by you would be a good thing. Um, um, it. it you just walk around with a sense of godly power. I hate saying it this way, but it's God-given power to be able to be the best version of yourself yeah. inside and out. And yeah. this, is, this is what I work with my clients. You know, they come to me about anti-aging and wrinkles and this and that. Mm -hmm. And I say, I do what Helga did. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, it's all work to be inside out. And they say, well, how come you don't have any wrinkles? I, well, I have my own skincare line. I drink my collagen. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I eat so, I eat age reversing foods. You see, it's all a system. It's just yeah. not one thing or the other. Right. Because we are human. We're in human form and there's lots of elements, but it starts on the inside and having peace from here to be able to move forward with every other aspect in your life. Yeah. So I want to say something real quick because I, f I forget that well, we every can, other we week. Is 60 times greater than that of your brain. Wow. And your mag 60 times wow. greater. And you have an electromagnetic field in every cell of your body. Now you might be saying, well, what does that mean? How do, what, okay, so, and, and I have to actually ask them because I had, I couldn't make the connection. They said, if you've ever pinched your finger or, you know, got smucked in the nose, if it hurts, those are, the, the cells are basically empty, but they have a field of energy inside, and they come together. That causes pain. That's an electro, or that causes joy. That's an electromagnetic field. And your magnetic field of your body, which is created by your body and by your heart, is 5,000 times stronger than that of your brain. Wow. So if you're wondering who, what is more powerful, because if you're thinking my brain is much more powerful than anything, I can't even control my own brain, let alone my heart. The minute you start going into your heart, your brain will pay attention and start taking orders from you. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love that. I love that. And thank you so much. Um, I'm so sorry. I should have told you that we have to end 10 minutes early. It's, I, I'm still okay. getting used to that. <laughs> well, always remember, I am a show host. And you know those, those Home Shopping Channel show hosts certainly know how to talk. <laughs> so. Well, I love it. I love it. I mean, you have such amazing things to say. And I think that... I think we still have a lot more to talk about. Um, I really, but I think for let's we're gonna get you on the schedule and have you on okay. again. Um, yeah, for sure we'll do that. Um, but let's talk real quickly about how people can find you. What you know, I, you have your own skincare line. You have all yeah. these amazing things. Yeah. So I want people to know how to get to you, how to find you, how to find your products, your courses that you have, okay. all the things. Okay. All right. So. Um, you can go to my website, which is www.kellyoliver.com, and you can uh, reach out to me, contact me. There's a contact page. You can go there to, if you want a one-on-one. -on -one. I actually do do some strategy sessions, so you can reach out to me and say you'd like a one-on-one, -on -one, whether strategy session or a breakthrough session, so I can help you with that. I do some one-on-one -on -one training. Not a lot. I don't have a lot of time because I'm pretty busy with lots going on, but I want to do more of that in the future. I have my 
um, uh, absolutely ageless six week beauty blueprint, how to get beautiful skin, balance energy, plus a fit mind, fit and healthy mind at body, no matter what age you are, um, and get the life that you want, truly have the life that you want. Collagen products are there, I'm fat, oh, and my products, because I made them for myself, because I had a problem and I needed to fix myself, mm -hmm. what I did is I made them with the highest amount of ingredients, with the highest amount of actives, above the line percentages that nobody does, and if they do, we're talking three, four, five hundred dollars a jar. Um, but mine are affordable, and they work. And there's some great before and afters on my website. There are. There really are. Yeah, yeah, they're like, whoa. So, that, so there. And if you want, yeah. and and my course is also available with some other uh, digital courses as well, and it's all there at kellyalver.com. There we go. And so keep in mind, it's not Oliver. It's Oliver. Right. O L V E R. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it's Kelly with an I E. I E. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So K E L L I E O L V E R. And I would love, I would just love to hear from you. And, um, and you know, we, we talked about bonuses. Do you remember that? Which, yeah. You, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, so the link, I was supposed to have a link uh, because I promised, didn't I promise to give away my entire module on the Power Up Principle with all three lessons? I believe so. But I, I think did. it's up to you on what well, you want well, to give away. I'm only, well, I'm only, I've never done that before. Okay. <laughs> and I, I'm, but I'm, I will do it for you. I will do it this time. Um, and and it will never be done. It will never be done again. So I guess whoever watches this and reruns, you will have access to this. And so, uh, but you have to email me and tell me that you would like the bonus. That might be, a, is that too difficult to do, Nikki? Is there a better way, more So I think that what I typically do is I will take all of the links that I have, they're both my own links as well as your links, and I'll paste them into uh, the Facebook group comments, or okay. Facebook page comments. But then um, Ruth, my VA, will also then take all those, and she posts okay. them on the YouTube, on the podcast, okay. on all of the places as well. Okay, so okay. Okay, that's perfect. But you can still reach out to me if you just want to say hi. That's okay too, yeah. um, or need some information. Yeah. So I will get Ruth the the link for my my uh, VA. The end of the day. Okay. And it's uh, the full module. Um, side, and you get all the bonuses that go with. We'll get all of that to you. We're going to post it just Nutrition Radio. My practices taste like nutrition. Assessment on there. I'll reach out to you personally. I've also got my courses, I've got my group coaching, all of the things. I do everything virtually, so uh, you don't have to be in Colorado, you can be anywhere. So please reach out to me as well. Reach out to Kelly. You are amazing, Kelly. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful. Yeah. Thank you for the invitation, and I really would love to be on air with you again. It's a lot of fun yeah. being here with you and and sharing all this stuff. Thank awesome, you so much. awesome. We've got a lot more to share. So, yeah. Thank you, Thanks, everybody Kelly. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you bye next bye. week.